Teamfight Tactics in 5 minutes, everything you need to know about the game. Teamfight Tactics is a new permanent game mode included in the League of Legends client. It's a free-for-all battle mode against 7 friends or opponents. All you have to do is form a good team of champions that work well with each other, upgrade them, equip them with good items, position them well and be the last person standing to win. I won my second match. Each player controls a little legend. At the start of the game you pick a champion with an item equipped by moving into them. Then you are sent to your board where you'll have to battle 3 waves of minions before facing real players. Over the match there will be harder PvE fights from time to time, only those can drop items, as well as more shared draft rounds where you get to pick an extra free champion and the picking order is from the bottom to the top based on health. The game board is made out of a grid of hexagons where you place your champions and it's split in half for your team and the enemy. The fights are automated, you only need to worry about buying champions and making a good synergy. The champions cost from 1 to 5 gold based on their rarity, at the start of the game you'll only see cheaper ones and if you buy the same champion 3 times it upgrades to a 2 star champion, increasing its health and damage and if you own 3 2 star champions they combine into the ultimate 3 star version. You can buy the champions from the shop, giving you randomized picks each round. It refreshes at the start of each round, but you can lock it if you had champions you want to buy but not enough gold. Or you can reroll it anytime by spending 2 gold. The number of champions you can have on the board is equal to the level of your little legend. The experience is increased by 2 every round and you can buy 4 XP with 4 gold. The maximum level is 9. You passively make gold at the end of each round, you can increase this by saving up gold for each 10 gold you have stored, you'll get plus 1 gold for a maximum of plus 5. Also, win streaks and losing streaks give you bonus gold for a maximum of plus 2. When you buy champions, they are placed on the bench, you can store up to a maximum of 9 here, but you can also sell them for their full price and if they had items on them, they will drop down as well. After the first 3 minion waves, you start fighting the other players randomly, getting teleported to their board or they coming to yours. You can also spy during the match and check everyone's board or click their names and see where they are. At the end of the fight, the winner reduces the health of the loser of the fight based on how hard they won it. If combat is still going when the 40 second timer ends, both players take damage based on the number of surviving champions. If there's an odd number of players remaining, a random player's army gets duplicated to face an opponent, while the real army of the player that got cloned can fight at the same time. This duplicated army can't cause damage to the owner, but it can deal damage if it wins fights. If you lose enough battles to get to 0 HP, you get eliminated and can leave the game or keep watching. What you should do is make a good combination of champions, each one has an origin and a class, each giving a bonus based on how many champions from the same origin or class you own. The more you have of the same origin or class, the more bonuses you receive, though they must be a different champion. It won't activate if you have the same champion multiple times on the battlefield. Your goal is to think of a comp you want to make and pick champions that have a good synergy or balance it out by having 2 or 3 star champions alongside them if you get lucky at the shop to get enough of them near the start of the match. In early game it might work to push stars over synergy, but in late game you should focus more on the composition. Items also improve the heroes a lot, each two items can combine and there are lots of rewards given. Along stat bonuses of auto attack damage, abilities damage, health, armor, magic resist or attack speed, there are also bonuses like increasing your unit cap by 1 or healing allies on death and many other interesting effects. When you click one of the champions, you can see their cost, origin, class, health, mana, items and ability. The ability can be a passive like Vayne or Cassadin have, a basic ability like Darius or Kha'Zix, or an ultimate like Morgana or Brand, and its damage is increased based on the number of stars. The cost of it is their full mana, and most start at zero at the start of each round, and it increases when they auto attack. Once full, they will use their ability, and if they have enough time to recharge it, they can use it multiple times during the same fight. Items that give mana will have them start with more mana instead of zero. You should be careful how you position them as well. Keep your tanks in front and your ranged champions behind. And if you have champions with good AoE abilities like Morgana, try to keep them defended in center and get to cast their abilities on as many enemies as possible. You can buy little legends and they are also working with the 3 star rarity system. If you get the same one multiple times, it upgrades but you can play with each version of them if you own them. There are also weekly missions and an orb you can claim daily for the pass that will award more rewards like random little legends, icons, map boards, skins and demotes. There will be more updates coming over time to the game, including new champions, a ranked system which is great because you don't need to rely on your team here, just on some RNG, as well as more quality of life improvements. But that's all you need to know about TFT to get started, thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful, bye bye.